A fascination that many ancient history enthusiasts have is the possible existence of ruined cities under the sea. After all, surely it's possible, considering the rise of sea levels over time and of natural disasters hitting the coasts. Not only is that possible, we know it to be true, as there have been several ancient cities found underwater. And the results of this work have revealed astounding discoveries over the years. Scientists have recently discovered an underwater tribe that still exists today, captivating the world with their remarkable survival skills and deep connection to the sea. The Moken, Haida, Sami and Chumash are indigenous groups known for their sophisticated fishing and underwater hunting abilities. Their fascinating lifestyles reveal a wealth of knowledge about living and ancient traditions that continue to thrive against the odds. The Moken, often referred to as sea gypsies, are a nomadic seafaring people living in the Mergui archipelago, along the coasts of Myanmar and Thailand. Their lifestyle is intricately tied to the sea, where they spend most of their lives on traditional wooden boats called kabang. Mokin divers are renowned for their exceptional free diving skills. They can hold their breath for extended periods and dive to significant depths without the use of modern diving equipment. The Mokin live on their kabang boats, which serve as their homes, and only come ashore during the monsoon season or to trade with coastal communities. Their extensive knowledge of marine life and underwater environments is impressive. They use this knowledge to hunt fish, collect sea cucumbers and gather shellfish. Interestingly, studies have shown that Moken children have superior underwater vision compared to their land-dwelling counterparts. They can see clearly underwater, which significantly aids in their hunting and gathering activities. The Mokan's movements are dictated by the seasons and the monsoon cycle, traveling vast distances along the coastlines in search of food and shelter. The Bajau, often known as sea nomads or sea gypsies, are indigenous to the maritime regions of the Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia. They are renowned for their exceptional free-diving abilities and their nomadic sea-based lifestyle. Bajau divers can hold their breath for several minutes and dive to depths of over 70 meters without diving equipment. Their spleens are larger than average, allowing them to store more oxygen-rich blood. The Bajau live on lepus or leper leper boats crafted from local timber. These boats are not only their homes but also their primary mode of transportation. Using spears and traditional harpoons, Bajau divers hunt fish, octopuses and other marine life with techniques honed over generations. In addition to hunting, the Bajau forage for edible marine plants, sea cucumbers and shellfish, contributing to their diverse diet. Aima divers are traditional Japanese female divers known for their expertise in freediving. The practice of Aima diving dates back over 2,000 years and is predominantly found in the coastal regions of Japan. Traditionally, Aima divers are women, some of whom continue diving well into their 70s and 80s. Their endurance and skill are celebrated aspects of Japanese culture. Historically, armor divers were known for harvesting pearls, a practice that gained international fame in the early 20th century. They use minimal equipment, typically wearing only a loincloth or light clothing. Diving without air tanks, they rely on their breath-holding abilities to gather shellfish, seaweed and other marine resources. These divers often work in close-knit communities, sharing their catches and supporting each other, fostering strong bonds and communal cooperation. While traditional AIMA diving practices continue, many modern AIMA divers use wetsuits and other protective gear to extend their diving careers. Both the Bajau and AMA divers showcase remarkable breath-holding and free-diving abilities. However, while the Bajau's lifestyle revolves around their nomadic sea existence, living on boats and continuously moving, the AMA divers have a more stationary lifestyle rooted in specific coastal communities in Japan. The Bajau's exceptional diving skills are essential for their day-to-day -day survival and are integrated into their nomadic culture. In contrast, the armor divers' practices are steeped in centuries-old traditions, often passed down through generations within the same locality. The Haida are an indigenous people native to the Pacific Northwest coast of North America, primarily residing in the Haida Gwaii archipelago in British Columbia, Canada and parts of southern Alaska. They are renowned for their sophisticated fishing and underwater hunting practices, which play a crucial role in their culture and sustenance. The Haida are expert fishers, primarily focusing on salmon, halibut and herring. 
They utilize a variety of traditional techniques, including fishing weirs, traps, and hook and line fishing. For underwater hunting, the Haida traditionally used spears and harpoons to catch fish and marine mammals. They are skilled in diving to gather shellfish such as clams, mussels, and abalone. One of the standout features of Haida culture is their beautifully crafted canoes made from red cedar. These canoes are designed for both sea and river travel, enabling efficient fishing and hunting expeditions. The Haida are also well known for their totem poles, which often depict animals and mythological beings. These poles represent stories, clan lineages and historical events, highlighting the deep connection between the Haida people and their natural environment. The Haida have a rich oral tradition, with stories and songs that celebrate their relationship with the sea and its resources. Potlatches, elaborate feasts that involve the redistribution of wealth, are central to their social structure and often feature seafood as a primary component. Historically, the Haida have practiced sustainable fishing and hunting methods, ensuring the long-term availability of marine resources. This includes seasonal fishing and the use of fish traps that allow younger fish to escape and grow. The Sami are indigenous people of the Arctic regions of northern Scandinavia, spanning Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. Known for their rich cultural heritage and connection to the Arctic environment, the Sami have traditionally engaged in fishing and underwater hunting in the cold waters of their region. The Sami are skilled fishers relying heavily on freshwater and coastal fishing for sustenance. They catch various species including salmon, trout and arctic char, using nets, hooks and traditional traps. In addition to fishing, the Sami have historically hunted marine mammals such as seals. While primarily known for reindeer herding, which is central to their culture and economy, the Sami also integrate fishing and hunting practices into their subsistence lifestyle. The Sami possess extensive traditional knowledge of their natural environment, including the behavior of fish and marine mammals. This knowledge is passed down through generations and is crucial for their survival in the harsh Arctic conditions. Sami craftsmanship, known as duodji, includes making tools and equipment for fishing and hunting. This includes making fishing nets and spears from natural materials. The Chumash are a Native American tribe indigenous to the coastal regions of California. They have a rich maritime culture and are skilled in various forms of underwater hunting and fishing, which are integral to their way of life. The Chumash utilized plank canoes known as tomoles to fish in the ocean. These canoes were expertly crafted from redwood or driftwood and allowed them to travel between the mainland and the Channel Islands. The Chumash hunted a variety of marine life including fish, abalone and shellfish. They used spears, nets and traps to capture their prey. Abalone was particularly significant to the Chumash both as a food source and for its shells, which were used to make tools, ornaments and trade items. Chumash villages were often located near water sources, and their economy was heavily based on the abundant marine resources. They practiced complex social organization and trade networks, with dried fish and other seafood being important trade goods. The Chumash are known for their rock art, which often depicts marine life and hunting scenes. These artworks provide insight into their deep connection with the sea. The Chumash practiced sustainable harvesting techniques, including seasonal fishing and rotating fishing areas to prevent over-exploitation of resources.